Hello, welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to do something different. Uh, usually I draw with ink on paper, not with paint on plastic models, but it's also a form of art. Uh, I have an art channel and yeah, so I thought I'd give it a chance. Now in this video I'm going to show you how easy it actually is to paint a miniature like this. Note that in this video you're not going to see any fancy or really advanced techniques being used. This is just, you know, the very basics. Um, I'm not a very advanced miniature painter. I just want to show you some easy, very easy steps to make your miniatures look ready for the gaming table. We're starting this process by cleaning up the seam lines on the model using a sharp knife. This is a must because um, these seam lines are extremely visible, so they're really ugly on the model and they make it really hard to paint it. So make sure you take your time with this step and you get all of them. Now it's time to glue the model to its base using plastic glue and create a base using this texture, pa texture paste. It's an acrylic paste with some fine sand in it and I use it to create texture on the model base. Before I apply the texture paste, I am applying some PVA glue um, just to make it stick better to the base. I'm using small pieces of wood uh, and gluing them to the base to act as rocks. You can have fun with this stage and really be creative with it. In this case I have customized the base and I will have to make the model stick to the base somehow. Uh, I'm drilling a hole in the model's feet with my small plastic drill. And then I'm super gluing a piece of paper clip <laughs> in the hole in the model and um, also on the base. And then I'm just attaching it to the base also using super glue. Very easy. I wanted this warrior to stand on the edge of a rock and yeah, I think it looks quite well. Now it's time to prime the models, but before that I wanted to try something out. Um, I'm, sh I'm just showing you something that came to my mind. Uh, I'm mixing some coffee soot um, to the texture paste. Uh, the coffee is ground by, by hand, so it's not like a really fine coffee. Um, so there are a lot of different sized pieces in it and I think it will create more variation and make it look more random and natural. I can't wait to use the, the next model that I will paint. Before priming, remember to wear a mask and go outside when you're doing this or in a really well ventilated area. I'm using matte primer in black 
from Army Painter. Make sure you hit the models from every angle with an even coat. This is the last model that I painted. Uh, I fixed my models to this um, plastic cup with hot glue. A plastic cup is very light, easy to put down, uh, and it's you know easy to handle when you're painting the model. The hot glue has a strong bond, and so the model won't uh, you know fall down when you're in the middle of painting it. And once you're done, you know it's also easy to remove. I, be I begin by painting a dark brown base coat on the base. Um, after that I'm base coating uh, the green coat and the red brownish clothes in a, a darker, more muted color. Since we're going to apply highlights later. You don't have to be ultra precise with the base coat. Um, you can clean up any mistakes later. Just make sure you're blocking in all the, all the colors for now. I'm using a lighter brown for the leather armor, the boats, uh, boats, the boots and the helmet. Then I'm painting the skin. Again, you don't don't stress about the stage. You don't need to be ultra precise. You can fix all your mistakes later. I also never use um, skin tone or any kind of paint straight out of the bottle. I always mix it with some brown. Especially in this case, we want the colors to be a little bit darker. You know, mix always mix your own colors. Get them to the tone that you want. And also, don't forget to make the details stand out. Now that I have all the base colors painted in and I've fixed my mistakes, I apply an oil wash. Um, this oil wash, you know, will see seep into all the little details and make them stand out a lot, you know, make them pop. And, but it will also mute all the colors a lot on the model, as you can see here, which is why we're going to apply some lighter, brighter colors as highlights later. Now let's start the highlighting. I'm starting by highlighting the skin tone. I simply mixed some skin color paint with some white.
but I nearly forgot about the shield. Um, I also cut some battle damage into the shield. Maybe you saw that in the beginning a little bit better using my knife um, to make it look more worn and used. You're going to see those cuts better later on when I apply other wash to the shield. Good, now I'm highlighting the leather and the clothes using the color that I used before, but, but of course brighter, you know, I used some yellow or um, white to make them brighter. And make sure you only paint the most raised um, parts of the model, the parts that will face the light the most and the parts that stand out the most, you know. Good, now I paint the stones on the base uh, using a dark gray. Then applying high, then I'm applying highlights on the edges and on the details using a very light gray. After I'm happy with the rocks, I put glue on the spots where I want my grass to be. I'm using this battlefield grass from Army Painter. I like it a lot. It's very cheap. I think you can get it for seven euros on Amazon or something, and will last you an eternity. After that is done, the only thing that is left to do is to apply some black or brown or whatever you want to the rims of the base. I prefer black. I just think it uh, looks way better than brown and makes the, the green grass really pop a lot. Makes the model look a little bit more stylish. Now that was a little bit of a different thing. I usually don't do this on this channel. Um, if you want to see some of my drawings, go to my Instagram or just have a look at the other things that I do in this channel. As I said, I usually just draw, so if you're also into drawing, then check out my channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of it, just tell me in the comments. Okay, if you want to see more models being painted, just let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next video. Goodbye.